Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, where today we dive into the Banta branch with a new campaign. A campaign that now spans the entire world map and all nations of the world. And I have only one thing to say to this. <laughs> yes, yes! Sorry, couldn't resist. I am a bit hyped though. And we are going to start to a new campaign. And this campaign will be the Empire of Japan. We will select campaign slot one for this. And let's load the game in. And we are in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, the loading times for this campaign screen is just... Uh, Horrible. Seriously long loading times and I can say with a relative certainty my computer isn't bad. So yeah, this is worrisome. Okay, let's focus on my economy first and on my research. And after that, crew training, sure. I am the Japanese. As such, I have a problem right now. The problem is my shipyards. I do not have the capability of building battleships. Armored cruisers, light cruisers, and torpedo boats is all I have. So. It's not very useful for me to start focusing on my battleship hulls. Instead, I'm going to focus on the light hulls right now and my range finders. Next turn, I'll swap out and get some submarines going, I think. Um, in terms of warships, I s I'm seriously considering not building a lot to start this campaign with. But I will build something to defend my uh, ships with. And look at that. We have secondary guns and casemate guns for my torpedo boats. Well, it shall maybe. I don't know. That makes no sense to have those things there. Um, engine efficiency. Shit. Engine efficiency is something that will matter these days. Let's do this and go back to 23 knots. Yes, we have one gun. Now we have three guns. Hmm. No, I'm not a fan. I'm not really a fan of that. <laughs> should I? Should I? Should I? You know you can't use that upper platform, so let's not. Let's see what kind of guns do we have. Mark 1s, Mark 1s, only Mark 1s. I'll deploy seven inchers and three inch casemates. And we can add a single small funnel to this hole. Nothing else will fit. Maximum range. That is vital on these ships. Um, that one. Why is my weight red? I suppose. No. Okay. I suppose that was an error. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Well, I guess it's an, uh, it's a beta, so some minor flaws are to be expected. It still seems to work, though, with a bit of tink tinkering here and there. A six-inch main belt, a three, four and aft belt, and let's test my theory. Yeah, and there's the undo button. Nice. Okay, a very simple, basic, heavy cruiser. Increase shells, please. Save the design. Let's see what happens. I would like six heavy cruisers. That will be my fleet, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh man, I gotta learn the Japanese names now for the harbors. That is frustrating. I do not know them. <laughs> okay, six ships. Six ships, are you serious? Yes. I have an active fleet of seven ships. Six heavy cruisers. And something invisible, I suppose. Repair priority for port. Move submarines, move ships. Okay. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea where those, where, where the seventh ships come from. Um, research. Two months. Can I push you to one month? No. All right, finances were set up, yep, let's go. Let's see what the uh, turn times will be. Hmm. Quite acceptable. Um, unrest is okay, plus GDP, yeah, sure. And we have new torpedo boats, designs, research. Let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you, because no matter what I do, it's one month. Armor quality. Mm, should I, should I, should I? No, 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 no. Submarine experiments, please. I want to test out in this campaign the new small stuff. New design. A larger torpedo boat of 300 tons. 23 knots will be acceptable. It will not be the greatest of torpedo boats, I am well aware. Yoink. Oh, don't do that. Engine efficiency 120%. 90%. Okay. That is interesting. If I replace you with a single small funnel. Yeah, that's good. That is good, I tell you. Guns installed, a torpedo in the middle of the ship, also for the balance. Turn on that again. There we go. More guns. We have a slight aft weight offset now, but honestly, on these ships, I do not really care. Mm, yeah. 23 knots. It's a slow torpedo boat. But she will do the job for now, I hope. And let's build 20 of you. And six extra heavy cruisers. Let's see. The British are really gathering up their task forces here. 
and moving everywhere. The Russians are moving extra ships here, I believe, and the Chinese are moving ships as well. Okay. The Indian Ocean. Southeast Asia, Empire of Japan, we are yellow. Tension with the Germans increase. Okay. Um, my prestige is fine, however. Pissing off the Chinese is fun, even though I have no ships to back up anything. One month until I get new cruisers, good. Gimme. Again, Germans, otherwise safe. New cruiser designs, so view this cruiser design. Refit you. Can make you refit time, three months. Oh, look at that. It shows in the designer. Oh, that is very useful indeed. I approve, ladies and gentlemen, I really do. Now you don't have to guess anymore. Refit time, two months. I added, I added more guns and the refit time goes down? What? Okay. <laughs> Game. That's a minor problem. Refit these ships. Let's check. Indeed, two months. Orders in being limited. Okay. Oh, this I do find annoying. Why did it swap all the way? Does it do this all the time? Research world. Sh hold on. I, I gotta try this. New design. Okay, now I'm gonna leave the... Designer and the world camera focuses back on the North Atlantic. It should focus on your capital. That is something that I know will frustrate me. Also, look at that. Tensions are increasing. And politics, that's not good. I do not have the ships yet. <laughs> um, research. How is my submarine research going? And my range finders, okay. Um, yeah, let's focus on those two. And by now, I believe, just look at the amount of events. Oof. We are at nine ships, nine active ships, four heavy cruisers. Say what? Oh wow, look at that! Look at the debuffs that I'm getting. Serious, nice. Wonder if my new ships have the same uh, issue? That will be frustrating. Um, I'm gonna take this one. Some more unrest. Because I'm not ready for war. Not yet. And I think... Anything to prevent a war is acceptable for now. This will give me five unrest. I'm already at ten. Yeah, I'm gonna take the money hit. Gun cotton. Good, 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 good. Um, submarines, five months. We get steam-powered submarines. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and maneuver warfare. Crew training doctrine. 15% max crew training. 10% efficiency. That is huge. That is a huge buff. Um, 
We have an active fleet of torpedo boats. Let's see. Will they? Yeah. They also have several construction flaws. Oof. And it's a lot of construction flaws. I really think you need to focus a lot of research on getting that under control early game. Wowzers, that is a lot. Give me one more turn. That is a lot, people. Reduced chance of construction flaws. Yeah, I really need to whole construction, whole construction, whole construction. It's gonna be a vital tech. The Spanish are being dumb and spending too much. Four months on my submarines. Come on. I want to see what my submarines can do. I'm not building any more ships, so maybe I should. Mine laying. Early contact mines. 5% ammo detonation chance. Mine laying weight. 25 mine laying. Ship design. Does this give me mine laying equipment somewhere? Don't think so. Not on my light cruisers. Torpedo boats? No, I don't. Underwater torpedo tubes? No, no. You do not think they have it automatically, do they? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I got some torpedo boats. Repair priority. Okay. These are still being commissioned. Huh, okay. Let's see. Two torpedo boats. Let's move you. Zoom in so I can actually select you. And you can't have mines on them yet. I think I'm missing a technology then. Mine laying equipment for destroyers and cruisers. Wait a minute. I don't have destroyers. Cruisers though, yeah. Um. New design. My armored cruiser. Guns. It, it, it's like we're missing a tab here. A mine laying slash mine removal tab. Unless there is something. Battle stations. Towers, maneuverability, detection. Well, the ASW is here, that's good. Um, no, no, I don't see any mine warfare equipment just yet. Oh, special equipment, mine laying. I'm gonna build me a mine layer. I'm gonna build me a mine layer. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Let's see. Funnel, funnel, funnel. Let's add some. Oh, that's a terrible angle. Some five inch guns. Do I need anything else on you? Yes, I need maximum range. Um, 21 knots is fine. Okay. Increase the gun length. Oh, 20% is a bit much. 16%, yeah, you get away with that. Okay. Case mates, two inch. Two, two, safe design. Yes, I know this is a very quickly built ship. I haven't looked at anything really. For OI class. Warships, commissioning. They're being prepared, good. 10 months to build them. <laughs> New ships, torpedo boats. Yeah, torpedo boats cannot have 
mine laying equipment it seems yeah you really need destroyers light cruisers well I know I know I should have checked new design heavy cruisers yeah light cruisers and destroyers can get the mining equipment four mining ships will be enough for the time being and let's hit the other turn Chinese are spending too much as I get new armor technology up. Two months for the submarines. I can be patient. Yes, I can. I'm not gonna be. <laughs> um, yeah, GDP. Submarine experiments, okay. How do you build them? How do you build them? New design? No. Not there. Submarines. There is no build tab here either. Maybe because it's only an experiment and not a real hole. Could be. It would be annoying. I really hope to be able to build them already. <laughs> uh, guess it was not to be. Let's get rid of that design. Build some extra torpedo boats and research yeah research research whole construction is eight months i'm being very passive right now even more so than usual because i just wanted to see and check out these new tags for the time being while slowly building up my fleets Um, yeah, I do not want a war with the Germans, uh, with uh, the Russians just yet. Not just yet. I need a bit more time. Probably a year or so. Perfect. Range. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, the cost is increased. Okay, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of debuffs. But, okay. Fair. I, I, I guess we need more submarine tech. Um, not going to. Although, okay, why not? Let's focus on light, sh on cruisers, submarines, destroyers. That will be my main focus for this campaign. And just to be sure, two months, and then I can start designing a new cruiser. Naval budget or GDP? GDP, of course. Not building anything anymore. I do not want a war. Light cruiser. Ah, oh, man. I didn't want a light cruiser hull. I wanted new heavy cruisers. Oh, well. Light cruisers. Will these be mine layers? No, sir. They will not. And I would like a 422 armor setup. Main tower. Over here. Funnel. That's a standard. I have three funnels here. Um, 19 knots for the ship will suffice them. 
I know I could move the main tower here and add another funnel, but this way I will have plenty of room, I hope. For some guns. And nothing else matters. Oof, I wonder if this will work. I think they're a bit too close together. We'll see. 20% length, why not? Two secondaries. Inner deck, yes please. Range find, yes, uh, very much yes. Increased ammo because by god I'm gonna need it. And standard crew quarters. Dinaka. Let's build you. Um, and this cruiser. Oh, no, 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 no. Discard. I could have. Could have clicked the other button. Cruiser. Um, view design. And refit you. Range finders. 21 safe design this design can be deleted this design refits a lot of ships refits two months two months one month until the light cruisers are in service light cruisers are in service so Let's see what they can do. Mine laying, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's a light cruiser here. You. Yeah, you are one of my light move ships. This light cruiser. What is your role? Yeah, you cannot lay mines, not like that. Um, there is a light cruiser here. Priority for ports. Hmm. How do you use the mining mine laying technology? Can I only lay mines during wartime? Perhaps. This could be it. If so, that'd be frustrating. Let's see, minus two and a half percent on ship flaws. That's not a lot. That is not a lot indeed. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna have to focus hull construction, I think, um, a lot more than I would have liked. 17% on the new submarines. Let's unfocus that for the time being. Yeah, yeah I, I, I guess. Ah, oh, that's annoying. This is annoying, people. Minus 30 million, yeah, sure. One more turn and plus 30 million. <laughs> Let's get rid of my unrest by slowly staring towards a war with the uh, Russians. Let's see, are there any other wars about to break out? Well, the Chinese and the Russians hate each other as well. The British and the Austro-Hungarians hate each other right now. The Russians pretty much hate everyone. And the Germans are friendly with everyone. Hmm. Now that is new. A new dockyard, please. We are at 200% transport capacity. 
it seems that cannot increase any further. Um, submarines. Yeah, we still do not have any submarines. Did the help file change? Guns, torpedoes, naval tactics. Now I doubt they have added. Well, they did add submarines. Okay, first we gotta experiment with them, then we can research them, then we can improve on them. Okay, yeah. So essentially it's first a couple of useless researches that are not really streamlined, I think, for this game. And then we can do uh, something more. Um, yeah. No, hold on. We do have the new docks, so I think by now we should be able to be able to build battleships. It's not that I want a lot of them, but I do want one or two of them. can fit two and uh, you know what can we go to 22 knots no 21 20 knots uh, 71 engine efficiency she will not be fast dual nines tens elevens or twelves let's go with 10 inches Ooh. Just look at the space we have. In fact, we are overweight. I can steal one, make it better. Um, balanced rudder, please. The Nagato. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm being very grumpy here right now that I cannot do what I want to do with these battleships, but it's okay. It's only the first battleship. And I'm gonna build two of them. And hit the unturn. And back to Asia. Back to Japan, yes. Okay. Hull construction. Just keep doing it. Oh, my nine inches will get a uh, upgrade pretty soon. Let's focus them for a bit. Um, thirty million. Minus 10 million is fine. War. The Russians and the Chinese declared war on each other. That means that my relation with the Russians plummet as well. And I might be in war next turn. Let's see. No. But it'll be soon. Look at that. Hey, look, we have small task forces. No, wait, we don't. <laughs> that said though this is the entire Russian fleet there will be no way right now I can win against them look at that 97% fuel the ship is holding position right now let's see what happens next turn Notice that the icon disappears right now during the uh, 
end of turn. Um, 75, 0 0.75 naval budget for 0 0.5. It's tempting. The Austro-Hungarians and the Spanish are at war. Chinese are losing ships. The French and the Russians are at war. Perfect, perfect. Weaken the Russians. Yeah, a ship this close to my port lost 1% fuel. A turn. That's okay. Um, fleet status. Where are the ships? Three months until they're finished building. And then another two months or so to get them ready to sail. Hull protection. Torpedo protection now is not really required just yet. Instead, focus on cruisers. And I'm still not happy with those submarine experimentations. Either give me my submarines or don't. I'm losing money, but the money doesn't go to the uh, funds of the enemy, I suppose. Um, unrest is fine. I could do with some naval prestige. The Russians and the Austro-Hungarians are at war. Why, Russians, do you have your entire fleet here parked? Do you even have ships in your other ports? Mm, no. You know, in essence, if I wanted to declare war on the Russians, I would now send my ships there. Although, fuel might be an issue. Hmm. Otherwise, I would I park them up in the uh, Baltic Sea. You can blockade Japan, I blockade you. Okay. Also, this ship only travels like half a sector, this mine layer, each turn. She's very slow. Um, minus unrest, minus money. Take some unrests. So, fuel status, 91%. So, she was 96 losing around 3% a turn. Let's return you to port. I really don't need to have you out in the sea anyway. We're very close to a war with the um, Russians. Very close indeed. One more turn and then my light cruisers will be commissioned. That is fine. Then I have some chance if the war breaks out. Give me naval funds. And tell me, there are many wars, but are there also many fights? The French and the Russians are fighting. The French and the Russians are fighting even more. And that's about it. Hmm. Okay. That's disappointing. Here I was hoping the Russians would get weakened by the AIs. So I could then move in. My recon range of my one cruiser is better than that of this entire fleet though. Hmm. Fun detail. Um, should I gather up my forces? Should I, should I, should I? No. No, I'll just be passive. Patience is a virtue. The Italians and the Spanish are at war. I have new cruisers. New cruiser designs. I didn't think we were that close. 
I don't mind. I don't mind at all. And yes, for the people who followed my French campaign, I will... I really did enjoy the focus on the cruisers and... Well, the lighter ships rather than the battleships, so... Yeah. Gonna do it again. Can I fit a large funnel? That's a 19% efficiency. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the issue with these hulls. Can I add a small funnel over there? No. Oh, I have one there. And a large one here. 36% engine efficiency. Let's go down to 19 knots. Maximum range. Um, not as bulky. Main guns. I do need two main guns. Uh, why? The 9 inches are Mark II. And can I fit a 6 incher somewhere? No, that just doesn't. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold your horses. Come here, six incher. Let's see if I do this. Is this issue been fixed now? No. 5,000 still goes down to the 5,000 without the beam uh, stuff. Hashtag frustrating. I cannot place those guns. How about in the front? Well, this is a bit of a front sider now. <laughs> um, if I increase the beam. Ah, that's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. 5,000. This is really frustrating, by the way. Well, good enough. Okay, two guns. Three inches. Can we get a couple of secondaries in at least? Casemates. Let's also go with three casemates. This is a interesting, about probably a weak ship design. A six inch main belt. Three, three. And a one inch superstructure, please. Increased ammo, and yeah, I do have a barbat one. Safe design. Let's build four of you. As slowly but surely, this first episode is coming to a close. The setup stage. Mm. The setup stage is almost done. The Russian fleet has retreated back into Vladivostok, probably out of fuel. Next episode, I will focus on starting a war, probably with the Russians and the Spanish. Both of them are a bit grumpy with me. I'll be able to quickly blockade half, their, uh, half the Spanish harbors here. Um, the other Spanish ships, where are they? Where is the Spanish fleet? They're guarding Spain and oh look, 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 there is a Spanish armada in the Mediterranean. They don't seem to have a lot of, no, no battleships. 20, 30, 40, 50, yeah, but pretty much their entire fleet is here. 
destination Western Mediterranean. Okay, that's good. If I can start a war with the Spanish and blockade them, oh, that'd be devastating. And then I just move my ships here into the um, Straits and ambush them when they come. Hmm. A proper Japanese tactic, I'd say. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this first episode. And I will see you next time. Farewell. Goodbye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with this comes an end to this first episode of the Japanese campaign. I thank you all very much for watching and I bid you all a very fond farewell. She's dumb for it. <laughs> all her guns have detonated.